What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, another edition of Let's Play Fallout 3. Uh, I'm Chris Wild, Wild High. Anybody you want to call me that, you're welcome to. Uh, we are going again on a, uh, another exciting episode for Fallout 3. I believe when we left off, we were uh, on our way to Rivet City. Uh, so we're going to take a look here. I've, I've been kind of busy with uh, Fallout 4, decided to do a uh, full-on Let's Play, started from scratch, turned off the mods. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's see where we were at. We are traveling to the Robco factory? Really? I don't remember that being the... That's the Wasteland Survival Guide. Those... Okay, I guess I was finishing the Wasteland Survival Guide. Okay, never mind. I thought, for some reason, I had the impression we were going to Rivet City. Did I even remotely find R Rivet City? No, I did not. Did find all this, which is nice. Alright, so apparently I'm going to be going to the Robco factory first. All right, let's go uh, see what we could see. All right. All right, no point in even trying to fast travel because it's a place I've never been before. What the hell's girder shade? Why is it not hidden? And minefield, I've been all the way up there. Alright, so... <laughs> wow, it's like if we're not fully paying attention to how far I've gotten or how far I'm going. Put my gun away. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. Certainly, thank you. No, thank you. I didn't even see what she gave me. I didn't even look. <laughs> Alright, so out we go from Megaton. I'm going to have to walk all the way to the Robco plant because uh, it hasn't been discovered, nor do I have anything nearby to uh, get me closer to it. So this should be a fun little adventure in its own right. Means I've got to head this way. I don't know why I always feel the need to walk. This way around Megaton, but. Gotta do what I gotta do. Ah, <sighs> oh, so. Oh, we got a, uh red blip on the screen. And we killed off a couple mole rats. And we are on our way. As another blip showed up. Right off the bat, we've got, looks like a Patektron. Yep. This is not going to be fun. Oh, he's already seen me. Oh, good. That went down a lot easier than I was expecting. Take his stuff, because I can use pretty much everything he's got. As I'm going along, I'm going to discover things, because if I have to fast travel back to Megaton, I don't have to start from scratch in the walking, so... Forgive me if it seems like I'm going off the beaten path here once in a while. Because, well, quite honestly, first off, we need to. Because there's so many things in this game left to see, we're only in Episode 5. 
and we haven't even discovered really a tenth of the map. So... Really would not hurt us to... Search around a little bit, see what we could find. I'll take the cartons of cigarettes. Because they're money. And the first thing we run into is some raiders! Oh. Some good guns. Just annoying me. Besides that god awful emo haircut. Alright, that's two down. Oh, hey! Hey, 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 none of that shit. you're saying why in God's name are you picking all this junk up I am gonna combine it all together Because first off I could always use new stuff second off I think I'll drink some of that and some of that just to get some of my hit points back up Second off, let's put some greater armor together. Yeah, it's good backup, good to sell. And I think for now I'm going to switch to the assault rifle. Hockey mask is two, two, two. All right, we'll go with that for now. Continuing on our way. It's definitely a raider area. Funny in this game, there's a lot of female raiders. Combat shotgun and. Oh, what the hell? You dropping shit from up there? Or did I just trigger a. Uh... Fairfax Metro Station. Huh. All right. Moving along. Oh, yeah. I am walking like crap because I'm crippled.
Might as well heal up. That way I move faster and better. Found Fort Independence, huh? Where? Ah. Right there. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Outcast Brotherhood. Defender Rococo Rockfowl at her service. Gotta be careful out here, mister. Good to meet you, Rock. I hope you're on my side. Don't shoot at me or my friends. I think we'll get along just fine. Who are you people? We've got power armor and big guns, and we're the ones doing the talking right now. Usually that's all a person needs to know. <coughs> they stop asking questions. You're going to stop asking questions now? That's just not my nature. <laughs> Alright, see you later. So yeah, we're good friends. I have to remember to come back because if I remember correctly, this is the Outcast Brotherhood. Or the Brotherhood Outcasts, rather. The Outcast Brotherhood. Yeah, I'm tired. Had a long day at work today. Not that you guys care about that shit. You don't want to hear about none of that. Ooh. Got a little rad scorpion. I don't know if that's the first one we've run across. In this game, they're not that bad. In New Vegas... In New Vegas, they're a pain in the ass. But one thing that is true is they, their glands are definitely worth carrying around. They're a little heavy, but they're worth a lot of money. So if you can grab them, grab them. Because they sell well. Moving along. Right now we're in a spot that's just very, very desolate. Whoa, you didn't even show up on my radar. Robo brain. We're taking your stuff. Oh. Again, we're taking your stuff too. And we move along. I'm already running low on ammo on this gun, so it might be smart for me to just switch to what I could switch to. I guess 10 millimeter pistol is going to be the best course of action for now. With the running into all the uh, robots, you know we're getting close to the Corvega plant. Actually, right now, that looks like Tenpenny Towers over there. And there is a creature somewhere around here. Danger! Oh! I'll take your shit. Alright, as we continue on, we're running into a couple little things here while we're uh, exploring the waste. Yeah, that is Robco plant right there. And in the background, that tall tower is Tenpenny Tower. Uh, I've already handled it by dis disarming the bomb, but technically, uh, a an agent of Tenpenny Towers would have uh, talked to me in Megaton about blowing up Megaton. Uh, if I would have done that quest and actually blown up the bomb instead of uh, saving the town of Megaton, I would have residents in there. Um, I don't remember if later on if I may wind up going there anyway and uh, killing Mr. Tenpenny and, and all his shit. It's very possible. 
I, I'm not exactly sure, but um, it's been so long. <laughs> but as of right now, we have finally achieved Robco Factory. Let's go in and uh, see what we can see. Okay. If I remember correctly, things like this you can't really do much to. We got here some rat away. Always good. Have to be extra cautious in here because there's going to be a lot of protectrons. I don't remember if there's going to be any Mr. Handies or. Mr. Gutsies, ooh, but there looks like there will be some rad roaches and mole rats. Oh, that's right. I don't think the robots actually come alive until I activate them. Okay. <laughs> He was so happy I took his energy cells, he did a backflip for me. Alright, so... Continuing to look around, don't really care about the darts. Take the sensor module. I don't know why I opened the desk, there's nothing in it. Take the conductor. I really do gotta be careful of what I pick up. I don't need to be over encumbered right now because I don't want to leave here Don't need the stealth boy. That's just heavy. There's nothing in the desk, nothing in the filing cabinet. Have an ammunition box with some 5mm rounds. Don't need the medical brace. Empty. Not empty. Empty now. Empty, empty, empty. Something in the locker. Three more money. I'm not interested in the ashtray. Take the energy cells. In this, I'm going to collect as much of the energy cells as I can. As you guys have already seen, I'm uh, very, very low. Take those rounds as well. I know some of you are probably screaming at your computer right now. Why didn't he take that? Or why isn't he interested in that? Uh, quite honestly, at this moment in time, it's more about just conserving space. I'm still so low level and, and not really built up enough yet that carry, just carrying too much crap Especially when majority of it doesn't serve any purpose to me except for when I uh, sell it for caps. And things like the railway spike, I know people are screaming at the, at the screen for that. Like, why aren't you taking the railway spike? That's uh, that's good for a weapon and... and oh, I didn't mean to take that pre-war book. You know, and you're right, there is a weapon for them and stuff of that nature, but I won't use it. I have no interest in it. Let's read that book. Lying congressional style, speech is increased by one. Now the one thing about Fallout 3 that's nice that Fallout New Vegas kind of... kind of screwed up, uh, was... was the fact that they decided, uh... in New Vegas that they were going to they were going to decide to make the uh, magazines and uh, and books temporary uh, only temporary improvements temporary boosts 
Uh, where in this game, at least there's still... Nothing I can do here. I can take the crutches, but that's just eating space. Ooh, big book of science. I'll take that and read it. <coughs> you know, where this is a permanent increase. I think Fallout 4 has the best uh, system when it comes to the books. In the sense that not only is it a permanency, but it does so much more than just give a point here or a point there. Like, each book does a full-on... Hey, what the hell? Each book does a full-on, uh... You know, like, like, Grognak the Barbarian will increase melee damage, uh, plus five percent. You know, it's not just a... Not just a, like, one point to strength, but it actually serves even more of a purpose, I guess is the, the point I'm trying to make. And, you know, I mean... I personally think that's a lot better. Now... I know there's a lot of purists out there who prefer this game over over uh, Fallout 4. I'm not going to argue with you, uh, especially because of the fact that I like both games. I mean, I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't like it. Okay, that's empty. I wouldn't be doing a, gear, uh, a Let's Play if I didn't like this game. You know, that's just fact. Robco jumpsuit. I'll take that. I don't know why I took it, but I'll take it. Alright, moving right along. Doing pretty all right in here. Hell, if you guys are all gonna hang out in one spot and not pay attention to me, I have no problems killing you. Wonder if I, why I'm not getting any. I wonder why I'm not getting any experience points for killing them. I mean, at this point, I'm sure they're only like one experience point, uh, one XP, but still, it's kind of weird that I'm not receiving any experience points for the kill. Still keeping an eye out, too. I did find two, two books in here so far. I don't remember. To the offices in the cafeteria. That's where I gotta go. Before I do, though, I think I wanna... Okay, I came from here. I think I just wanna check this spot here. For anything useful. down there later. I'm sure on my way out after I've done what I need to do in here. Did I check in here? Yeah, I did. I did. Alright, so we are on our way to the offices and cafeteria. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye out because I'm not sure if there's a bobblehead in here. I mean, I've never collected the bobbleheads, all the bobbleheads of this game, so you know, that again, I will repeat for the many times. That is definitely a goal of this playthrough. Is to... That's one of the ones that's going to come to life when... Uh, I don't know what it is with Fallout and their freaking... Uh, mannequins. Hey, we have a, uh... 
And I broke a bobby pin. This way. There it is. Got some rounds. I don't know what it is with them and mannequins. Bethesda has a love for mannequins in this game, and I don't really understand why. Why are you running away? Jesus. You guys saw that, right? My pointer was uh, directly on the goddamn thing, but for some reason I just couldn't hit it. I couldn't kill it. Again, these rad roaches, I must be too high a level. I'm just not getting any experience points for them at all means they're more of a nuisance than anything else. Okay, this is getting annoying. Really? Oh, hey! That actually made me jump a little. I wasn't expecting him. Got another one dead. All right, so. So far, so good in what we're doing. Bunch of empty bottles. Anything worth a shit in here, and then I'll take the sugar bombs and the Nuka Cola. Take the lunchbox. Don't want the metals. Oh, they're just spoons. But the way they were set at first, I thought they were uh, scrap metal. And again, there's that guy in, uh, in, uh, Megaton that uh, <clears throat> will pay you for the scrap, so if you're doing that little side thing for him, you know, this is the spot to do it in because Oh, well, quite simply because you're in a factory that would have a shit ton of scrap metal. I'm not the only one hearing that, right? Yeah, yeah, nobody cares. All right, Nikolai Tesla and you. Finding a lot of books in here. Again, that really leads me to believe that there could be a bobblehead in here, and I don't want to miss it. Really don't want to miss it, so forgive me if it seems like I'm going very slow and if I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm kind of concentrating on making sure that I check everywhere I possibly can and attempting des uh, not desperately. <laughs> it's not that dire, but I mean, uh, trying to make sure as be to best of my ability that I'm not missing anything. Because this is a huge place. 
And as such, it's very easy to overlook things. Especially when you get into spots like this where you've got a, just a butt-ton of stuff. Here more... More things wandering around. I don't know if I've been in here. I don't think I have been. Shotgun shells. Desk. Yeah, it's got stuff in it, but it's nothing interesting. Bottle caps, always good. Alright, that clears this area here. I've got some dead stuff, so apparently I have been here. seeing anything in particular on these shelves, just these boxes, and they all seem, except for this guy, and he doesn't have anything of interest. They're all empty. So moving along. I'm showing... Oh! There you are. You've been following me this whole time, little guy? That's so nice of you. I had a pet. There's somebody. And you little bastard. Alright, so we'll fix the crippled leg. While we're at it, we might as well heal up. More energy cells. I'm almost getting to the point where I'm ready to come back to the energy weapon, because in a little bit here anyway. I hear you. Okay. Does the machine still work? There you are. Bastard. Nothing of extra specialness in here, it looks like. Nothing here. I know I gotta go in there. That's where I'm supposed to go. But I'm just checking out the little side areas before we go there, because pretty much once shit starts... Once shit starts... With this quest after I, uh... After I accidentally reactivate the robots for uh, Moira. I'm not going to really have a whole lot of time to... To comb through this stuff. So it, it's better that I get it done now. Obviously when you do your playthrough, play how you want to play. You know, um, myself, I like to be thorough. Especially again with things like... Uh, Thinking and expecting to have a bobblehead in a place like this. Which, part of me right now is extremely disappointed. Because I really, really did think there'd be one in here. To find that there's not kind of saddens me. Oh, over encumbered. Exactly what I was hoping to avoid. It might be smart to switch over to that. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well put on the helmet. I'll drop the hat or the mask. Yeah, 
and I'll switch to the laser pistol. Install the processor widget. Now, before everything hits the fan, I just want to see something real quick. The quest required me to reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. Can I? I have to hack it. Interesting. Alright, well. Start the hacking process. Let's see if we can remove some of the duds. may or may not help. Batteries? Only one of nine. Eesh. Not a good choice. Commanded. Bingo! Nice! Dude's coming out, is he gonna fight? Hi. Hi. Move along, please. Okay, I guess the reprogramming stopped them from wanting to fight. I'm down with that. I'll put my gun away for now. Move along, please. Very cool, very cool. So they're not interested in fighting as long as I leave them alone. <coughs> I am absolutely happy with that. Because I was really expecting to have to waste a lot of ammunition going to, uh... Move along, please. Going to survive this battle. Shooting at somebody? As long as it ain't me. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? You were killing this thing. Good job. Proud of you. Yeah, see, we got some turrets up there and everything. Oh, hey! Not okay. Bad, whatever you are. Pretty sure I've already been through this, but I'm just making sure. Yeah, those are stealth boys. I've been here. Alright, here's our exit. We are out of here. So we can return back to Moira. And let her know that the uh, job is completed. And I think the last one left would be actually going and learning about Rivet City, so... Yay, we'll finally head to River City. Is that a Mr. Gutsy that I'm seeing at the background? Yes, yes it is. Hello, What's up, stranger? Tinker Joe? I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. I'd like to buy a I'm robot. I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. I'm just delivering them now. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but... Well, RL3's a bit finicky about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. Various things. You never know what might come in handy. How do you know he... he uh... Well, I'm gonna take those from you, pal. But, you know what, it's your lucky day, because I need the scrap metal, but I don't need the Ooh, wait. 
No, 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 no. I'll take my carton of cigarettes back if you can't even afford that. You can have the lunchbox, you can have the two of those. That'd be nice to give you one pilot. Yeah, we'll go with that. Give now you got no money left, it, but I'm cool. Yeah, Alright, good. See you. Another glorious day in this man's army. Can't talk to you? Move. I'll... That sucks. Alright, so... Long we're gonna travel back to Megaton. You know, as many times as I've played this game, I don't think I've ever one time not had to battle. I don't think there's ever been one time I've ever not had to battle, uh... The robots once they came to life. That's the, that definitely a first. I didn't think you could pacify the robots in the extent that they wouldn't fight you. That, that's... That's actually really impressive. I really never thought I could do that. I amazed myself in this one. Well, fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Oh yeah. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying <coughs> it for your own purposes? That's just the thing. Yeah, I know. Tell me all about how it worked out. Once I adjusted the programming, the so robots were no problem. Intelligence, answer. Even after programming, the program the robots were of questionable value as allies. Charisma, like a charm. I only wish it was always that easy to manipulate people. I think I'll just go with a straightforward answer. So, they were dangerous until you got control of them. Definitely a good lesson in there about using old technology. Seems like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Alright, the last part of this chapter is researching local history, correct? Yes, Rivet Cities in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Sounds reasonable. I'll research River City's history. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Alright. And while we're here... First thing I'm going to do is you repair some equipment. Because a lot of my stuff took a bit of a beating. I'll repair some of the stuff that even uh, I'll wind up selling. What do you need? It's not what I need, it's what I can do for you. You're going to take some uh, cigarettes, conductor, fission batteries, pilot light. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have the pre war book. Pre-war money, the rad scorpion glands, the sensor modules, destroyed small book, wonder glue, wrench. You can have the five blood packs, the three dirty waters, the dog meat, the mole rat meat. Stealth boy. You can have the tick and that. You can have that. You can have the Chinese pistol. You can have the pulse grenades back because I don't want them. Alright, now let's see what you have that I could use. Uh, you've not really replenished anything, so I'll just take the money and run. Good All right. hunting. Alright, on that, the we are going to go ahead is and... Great. Looking forward to more. Alright. You keep looking forward to that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead real quick and uh, read my books, because I've got a whole bunch of books here. 
Might as well increase my shit up some. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the world map. Rivet City's right over there. Right across the way from the riverboat landing. Trying to figure out which would be the best course of action to get there by. I think we'll... Even if I don't do the whole entire parts for, for Rivet City, I want to get to Rivet City. I want to get there. This is one of the DLCs. I'm not going to start this now. That will take a long time. I want to put aside enough time that when I do it... Uh, that when I do it, it uh, that I can do it, I don't necessarily think in like one try or in one video, although that would really be nice. I gotta be careful here, I'm gonna get irradiated. I'm gonna take some radiation, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. But if I can move quickly enough... I should be able to get there without taking too much in the way of radiation damage. Again, particularly in this game as opposed to the other Fallout games, this is the game you're gonna take radiation damage when in or near the water. As soon as you touch the water. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it, except avoid the water, of course. But until you get to that point, it really is grin and bear it. Now, yes, this is a spot, and spoiler alert here, this is where Dad is. Dad is in there. And I just heard... A... Uh, super mutant. He did notice me. Where's he at? Oh, hi! Just your mother will tell you about coming up on people like that. Yep, now the other one's noticed me. Oh, shit. You guys are all gonna hang up there? Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stick around for that. Why am I walking so slow? Oh, this I'm... Oh! Oh! Hey, come on already. I was about to say, I should be out of your view by now. I mean, caution. Caution should soon give way to... Hidden. Still in caution. Alright. Well, either way, we made it to Rivet City. Yay! Where we wanted to go. I'm not sure if I have any purified water Please for you, Carlos, water. but we'll look. Please. I don't. Sorry. As soon as I do, I will, though. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. <coughs> I don't know. When I first first played this game, I thought that was kind of impressive. This is an old aircraft carrier that just got grounded and they turned it into a city. I was mesmerized by the bridge. I, I don't know why. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Looking for my father. And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know him. I'm sure you don't know him. He lived in a vault his whole life. 
Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You look like You it. keep up this smart ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. You threatening me? All right, all right. You can go on in. If I hear about any trouble, you're gonna wind up in the river. You get me? <laughs> Maybe I'll put your ass in the river. All right, so there's two things I can handle in here. Both the, uh... The, uh... Wasteland Survival Guide final chapter piece, which is, uh... Get some information about Rivet City. But while I'm here... Before I handle that, or before I, oh. I complete it and 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 leave Rivet City, I will talk to. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out there. Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Why wouldn't I remember you? Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. Wow. That's sad. All right, we're going to talk to Shrapnel they here. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. And I love guns. Nothing better than the kick of a 44. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. Is there anywhere I can get a drink on this tub? Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions down on the lower deck. Can I ask you about River City's history? History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. I like this guy. He kind of reminds me of me. All right, time for me to go. Come back soon. All right, so not looking to steal their shit. I'll talk to you even though you're problem? an asshole. Do you know anything about the history of Rivet City? I don't exactly Rivet City? have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Okay. Carry on then. You're a jerk. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. That's discrimination. I'm sorry, I had to do it. Uh, I can see you are also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. So you're on the city council? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Whoever this Seagrave Holmes is, you think he's a threat to your influence? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace <coughs> me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. All right, so I just got Banna's request. Could I ask you about River City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Alright, I have a hundred. Hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Bell Bonnie. All right. Come back soon. Who <clears throat> am me? Was it you? Was it you? Do you want to talk? This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Relax, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you want anything. To buy, that is. What can you tell me about River City history? Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? 
but I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. All right. Did you hear about the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Yeah, Mel's going to have to replace it. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? Why is this place called it's Gary's named Galley? after my dad. He's a great cook. So what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. What's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Did the men on the ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. So you and Diego are in well, love? one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Unfortunately. Fortunately, you can't force a man's attention. Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. <laughs> Could I ask you about Ruby City's history? I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC. But I don't really know. I better be going, Thank you Angela. for coming to Gary's Galley. Ah, you're welcome. You're such a sweetheart. Alright, so that was probably one of the nicer ones. Is Harkins here. Let's see if he gives me any... I heard you're on some sort of city council. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. What can you tell me She's about Dr. Lee? She's one of the Lee. members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Okay. Leave me alone. This is none of your business. I wasn't intending to bother you. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Sucks to be him. All right. So, for all intents and purposes, I've already completed. Hi. Door to the science lab. God, I'm that low already. Right on. Dr. Lee. This is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Wait, how do you know who I am? Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. I'm sorry, could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where is this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... 
Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, uh... I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Let's talk about something else. Is there any way you can Look, help me out? I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Come on, isn't there anything you could do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. Alright. I'm not going to go into the full lore of this stuff. Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. You know about the city. I tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. All right, have to go Good now. Good luck finding your father. Wasteland, I find your... Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. Here we go. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? That depends. What are, exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive... Property. What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we make <coughs> artificial persons, <coughs> synthetic humanoids. Programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally they get confused and wander off. All right, I can answer. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure you don't, they don't wander off on purpose? Interesting, but what's that got to do with me exactly? Enough techno babble, Z Zimmer. Just tell me what you want me to do. Again, I'm playing a positive character here, so I think I'm going to call him on his bullshit. Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not! The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic. Like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. <laughs> I'll be compensated for my services, right? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. 
Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Sure, I'll look into finding your android for you. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. So any end? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Ha <laughs> ha I have to go now. Of course. All right, so uh, hi. Hey there. You walked right up on me. Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Later. All right. So again, as I was about to say when she walked up on me, which is why I like stopped. Oh wait, bobblehead, intelligence. I forgot that was there, so we got our third bobblehead. It wasn't a total waste of a day. What else do you have? All right. So, on that note, we now know our father is at uh, the memorial. Uh, we completed yes. the quest. I mean, I could. I could technically, you know, uh, do the optional of verifying the information I got, but I think it'll be a lot easier and better for me if I just turn around and, uh, oh, maybe, I'll, I'll go down. We're already running a little over anyway. I could go to the Preservation Society. That's another quest. But I'll probably do that on another video. I'll go to the Muddy Rudder. I'm supposed to talk to the bartender. That may be the optional. I don't remember. I don't think I usually do the optional part of this quest. But, uh, screw it. We're already a little over, so... I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. <laughs> nice place you have here. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order or what? Have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. Alright, here comes the hard part. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Wow, I bitch much? Alright, so I have to go to the broken part of the bow of the ship. Somehow. Not exactly sure how I'm supposed to do that. I think that's why I never actually did the uh, optional quest, and I don't think I'm going to now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and travel back to uh, Megaton and complete the Wasteland Survival Guide. Because, again, I don't even really know how to get to the bow of the ship. The broken bow. Like she wants me to do. Like, 
I don't think I ever found the way to do so. I'm already irradiated, I might as well. I'm only gonna take 200 rads at max. Luckily, even swimming in this shit, it's not that terrible. Cause I'm kinda already over time, we might as well just see if we can complete through. If it's gonna be this easy, I'm gonna be pissed. It's a very hard lock. Yeah, so that's why I've never actually completed it. So we're gonna go ahead and run to Megaton. While we're at it, get the radiation handled, turn in the quest, finally end the Wasteland Survival Guide, and that'll probably be it for today's episode. Uh, I want to thank you guys for checking us out. Uh, this is episode number five, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing to think about that we've gotten five episodes in. Hopefully Here. I won't have... You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Certainly, no, thank you. Thank you. This woman keeps giving me squirrel bits. <laughs> While I'm at it, I'm going to run up here real quick and uh, sell some of the scrap metal I've been running around with. <coughs> Something I forgot to do. Um, What's up, boss? Yeah, what is it? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Well, all right. Let me count out your cash. Thank you. There we go. Easy money. Now we'll go down to Crater Side Supply. We'll handle Moira and be finally done with this quest. It only took five videos to get it done. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Well, if it's all you could find out, I guess it'll have to do. So, what did they say? None of them agree on a story, so let's just say they I set up the whole place. <laughs> I guess I heard one story that was plausible enough. Let's go with it. Even I'm not sure I can believe that, and I'm downright gullible. Or so I'm told. But I guess if that's what they said, what else is there to go on? Oh well. Still, for your help, have a few of these. They may help out next time you need to talk to a few folks. Mentats. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that completes the book, right? Smooth, suave, and done with a smile. <laughs> I swear I picked up a few pointers from your style myself. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Let me guess, you need me to go print and distribute it, right? Oh, cynical. No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? <laughs> you should just lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. Thanks. I'm pretty proud of it. So how's the final product? Oh, it's great. Why, with the information here, we'll save hundreds of lives. Maybe even thousands. I'll share these with the traders, and soon, everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But first, here, the very first copy of our book goes to you. I couldn't have done it without you, my Wasteland Survival Expert. All right. As a result of your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. You know anything about an android from the Commonwealth? Something about facial surgery and reprogramming its memory. 
But that seems to have been a hoax. Haven't heard anything about it in a long time. Repair my equipment. All right. Good. I have all. All right, let me look at your stuff. Look at the house stuff. I don't really have enough for everything. I can get the schematics for the rocket launcher. House workbench. Where is the house stuff? I mean, I know we got all this shit, but where's... Of course! I have... Which one in... That's all she has. Weird. I thought there was themes. Oh, themes. Some there we go. Don't purchase. You. I'm interested in the vault theme. Feeling a bit. Remember. Well then. All right. So. Where's it at? I'm gonna buy it. Good hunting. Because I've got the money right now to do it. She doesn't have anything else for me. It'd be easy enough for me to get more shit. So let's go take a look at my new house theme. I can put my bobblehead away, and that's where we'll end the uh, episode. So again, thank you very much for checking us out. Make sure you comment, like, share, and su uh, subscribe to uh, the channel. Uh, every week I do Fallout 3, and I'm doing uh, more so with Fallout 4. Oh, it looks a lot prettier. A lot prettier. While I'm at it, I'll put my intelligence bobblehead up there. See if there's anything in here I don't really need at the moment. Put the armor away. Don't need the Mentats or the Nuka Colas or the Quantums. Alright, cool. A bunch of useless shit. Food can stay where it is. Cogsworth doesn't look thrilled with the uh, the new setup. <laughs> look at that ten millimeter pistol. I'll take it. Whole bunch of other shit that I could sell. Wadsworth, get the hell out of the way. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? I'd like Certainly, something to drink. Sir, Tell me your joke. Atoms are in a bar. One says, I think I lost an electron. <coughs> says, are you sure? To which the other replies, I'm positive. Bad joke. Okay, one disadvantage to doing this. 
I'll go ahead and sit here. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and save. And all right, guys, thank you very much for checking us out. Like, Make sure you like, share, uh, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you next week. Have a good one. And make sure you check out uh, us playing Fallout 4. Have a good one, guys.